Why are people hating on Jey Uso? Why are y'all hating on Jey Uso, man? If if y'all think if y'all think Jey Uso is about to go anywhere further than this match or whatever match is next for him, I, I believe is with Gunther. Relax, man. Relax. Like like let's not act like he just wasn't the cool guy to root for two weeks ago. It's one person he shouldn't have beat. Beat. We all like I knew Jey Uso wasn't that good of a like wrestler. At WrestleMania 39, like actually, no, it was before that. It was the match against um, what was that match against the Street Profits? Like they they they, they was super kicking to death. Like no y'all, <laughs> no y'all just like to build people up and tear them down. Nobody had this energy when he was a mid Carter. Nobody had this energy when you know he was a video yeah I'll, I'll get to that i'll get to that but nobody had this energy for him before he started winning and now we yeeting and we doing all this and now we buying his merch and now they push him as if y'all not uh supporting this dude and then he gets the push that his merch sales warrant that his audience reaction warrants and now we have a problem with it now i understand that it is the vocal minority who just looks to find things to be upset with but like, come on, y'all. Can we just enjoy it? Like, like I hate to I hate to sound like oh, Adam Copeland here, but can we just enjoy wrestling? Please. Like, do we have to have a problem? Like, Jey Uso is such a positive dude. He's such a cool dude. Why do we have to have a problem with everything? You know, somebody had to win that match last night. Did you really think Ilya Dragunov should have beat Jey Uso? Somebody they've been building up for four years versus a rookie in his first month on a main roster. What did you think was supposed to happen? Like, what are we what are we talking about? Like, bro, like, what did you expect to happen? Let these things play out, man. Let these things like what I've wanted it. No, but Drew McIntyre is injured. I'm assuming if it wasn't Jey Uso to beat. Ilya, it was supposed to be Drew. Sorry, but yeah, man, just relax, relax. Guthrie is about to be Jay, and it won't go further than that. Jay does deserve. I don't give a fuck what his wrestling skills is. Should he should he switch up his arsenal of wrestling moves? Of course, yes, that would be nice, but. Again, his merch sales reflected. His audience reaction definitely reflects it. This dude is a star. He should be pushed as one. Ilya has time. Jey Uso got to be in his 40s or something. It's one match. It's one match. I don't know. I, I just, like, let it go. Like, ooh, stop being so overreactive. Stop looking for things to be upset with. Stop crying. Damn, I understand. Like, I understand. Like, do I think would I put the world championship on Jey Uso? Fuck no. To answer your question, no, I would not put the the championship on Jey Uso. No, I would not, because that is Kofi Mania waiting to happen. That is like that. No, that's a mistake waiting. To, like, nah. Don't prolong. Like, he is great, but. When you get to, when we start talking about world championships, your match quality has to you know reflect that. But if we're just talking about stardom and winning certain matches, yes, he again he has the merch, he has the merch sales, and he has the audience reaction to earn that victory yesterday. So again, it's just one victory. It's not like he's about to win a whole tournament. Now, if he wins, if he goes on to win the entire tournament, then we could have a different conversation. But he's about to get destroyed by Gunther. Let it go. Let it go. It won't go further than that. See, this is what y'all don't hear when I record the regular videos. <laughs> um, no, nah, I, I can't see Jey Uso as the world champion. I like him. I love Jey Uso, but world champion? Nah, nah. He ain't got the moves. He ain't got the arsenal. He's not that great on the mic. He's great. He, he He's that guy, but... He don't, he don't, he's the new trending thing. Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. In five years, if Jey Uso never wins the world championship, that's not something we're going to, like, damn, we missed the opportunity. 
And I love, again, I love Jay, but he got a lot of improvement in doing, but he's also, I'm assuming he's in his 40s, so that'd be expecting a lot. It's one thing when you in a ring with your twin brother and then y'all both doing the same moves, you know, for like 10 minutes. But when you're in a ring and it's just you versus an opponent and you're doing, you know, the same moves over and over again, you kind of expose yourself. You do. But like this dude, this dude's he's he's cousins with Roman Reigns. He's cousins with The Rock. Like, I'm sure if he really wanted to step in and get in this bag of Arsenal, and, you know, and, you know, mix it up in a ring. I'm sure he definitely could. I'm sure he definitely could. So do I think he's a world champion? No, but I definitely think he deserves a IC title or a United States championship match. 100%, 1000% actually. 